Hello, Lady Hopium! Hey, how's it going? Hi, pronouns? Uh, she, her. Welcome to the show at long last. Well, you've been on here before, but 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 welcome again at long I last. I have. What's that? I think you have. I swear to God we've talked on here before. Maybe I, maybe not. I swear we have. I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Maybe I've, I've been waiting to talk to you for a while because I, uh, I, I, I uh, personally love your content. Yay! And the minute I found your content, I was like, holy shit, this is exactly what I've been looking for. This is exactly yeah! the kind of shit I've been, I've been talking about, fam. Oh, yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm happy to. I'm happy to be able to deliver for you. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm a, a per persistently uh, uh, disorganized and persistently overworked. However, uh, I do my best, and I'm very happy that what I what I do bring is 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 pleasing to you and and whatnot. Uh, real quick, do you want to just uh, g give yourself a full shout out to the audience and let them all know what you're all about? Uh, yes. So uh, I'm Lady Hopium. My name is Emily. Um, I have a youtube channel uh i i do live streams um where i talk about you know uh lgbtq plus issues i talk about i gaming you know we play video games sometimes uh uh particularly lately i've been talking a lot about um ace issues because i've been recently discovering uh myself as being on the ace spectrum and hey. i've learned that there is not nearly enough uh like representation or, or people talking about that kind of shit in like queer spaces. Yeah. So I, I, I try to add, you know, to the conversation on that. And, um, uh, yeah, I do all kinds of things. I'm, I'm also a, a rapper and a musician. I, I, you can find me on all the music, uh, streaming sites like Spotify, Apple music and everything. I, I only have a few songs right now. I'm currently working on an album, but, uh, it's Lady Hopium everywhere. Uh, I've I I mostly write songs about like uh, you know like uh, uh shit that I deal with my upbringing. Uh, my most popular song is about an eating disorder. It's called If I'm What I Eat Then I Must Be Nothing. It's a pog song, fucking banger. Damn. Um, that sounds awesome. But yeah, go check all that out. Okay, everybody, please go check that all out. Um, Lady Hopium, I have been familiar with your with you. <laughs> And your work for some time. I have lurked a couple of your streams, believe it or not. Um, I also uh, yeah. wa watched some of your uh, some of your um, coverage of um, oh God. This was a while ago. I feel like it was um, there was some drama with the the drunken peasants. Maybe I watched a couple of your streams on that um, at someone else's recommendation. It was a while ago though. Um, but yes. just wanted to say uh, I felt I felt like you did some some damn good coverage. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy to have you on. Was there a, a topic you want to talk about in particular or, 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 uh, cause we can do that. I don't want to, I know I've been kind of like <laughs> blabbing a lot. I feel a little bad cause I, I don't, I don't know, if, uh, but yeah, if there's a topic you want to talk about, please let me know. No, it's, it's all good. I, I'm actually uh, a surprise. You saw that. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, uh, the, 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 the drunken peasants drama, uh, stuff that was going on, uh, that that's a thing uh people can check out as well um i i, I won't go too much in depth on it here but I, I i've tried to make my community a safe place for abuse victims mm -hmm. especially because i am also a uh, child abuse survivor i suffer from complex ptsd and uh really mm -hmm. debilitating depression and anxiety and i'm i'm, I'm so i i'm disabled because of all of that and I, so i know how debilitating trauma can be yeah. And, you know, I, I, I've, I, I, if I hear that someone is an abuse victim and they need to tell their story, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I'm not nearly as good at the drama as you are. I, I wish I had the, uh, the skill. I don't know if I'm good at it. Mama. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good at it. Okay. Listen, don't praise me oh, too you're... much. I don't know if I'm good at it. I think I, I sometimes think I'd cause more trouble for myself than other, than otherwise, but. I don't... I don't know. I, I think you you do a good job at like going in depth and and uh, I, I I don't know. Like I I've enjoyed your drama mama streams. Thank you. I um, and that. I've I've like secretly been jealous. Cause I'm like, god damn, if I could like, if I could pull that off and and do like one like segment, cause like I, I don't think I'm very good at this. You know, I not like. It, it, at the like ex me too shit you know like that's, yeah, yeah, I, that's... I, i'm not super well versed in that you oh, know that stuff's hard to do it's always really it, hard it, and yeah it really so is. i get it like i mean i 
I when I first started doing Drama Mama, I mean, obviously I was way, way less good than I am now at it. it took a lot of practice, but like I sort of just set out with this goal of being like, okay, when I talk about Drama Mama, if we're going to talk about something really serious, which you usually are, because it, as it turns out, lots of dramas stem from an actual serious issue and then they turn into something yeah. not serious or the other way around. They start with something really stupid and then they spiral off into something serious. And um, I just figured, like, you know, the way I'm going to do this is I'm sort of going to sort of approach it methodically with the the you know, we're, we're, everyone's going to come in with the understanding that we're talking about drama with the goal of like learning and growing from an otherwise dramatic situation and trying to come to the come to a conclusion about what actually happened, what actually went down by providing as much receipts as possible. And I think that sort of thing is important. But of course, inevitably, um, you know, these things are messy. So it can all it, it, it takes a lot of work and there's a lot of mistakes that can happen. And yeah, so um, I don't know. Drama is a weird is a weird thing. Um I, I think that it can be a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun doing drama coverage um, most of the time, but sometimes it can get a little bit of a, a little bit messy. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially when there's like people involved who have been hurt and yeah. and like it, it gets even worse when like people try to silence abuse victims and it just it becomes a whole thing where it's like, hey, should I even be talking about this or am I just making it worse? You know? Yeah. Like and it is I, I want to help, yeah. but yeah, and and so I've 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 decided to strategically stay quiet on things unless I have something important to add, and and that's yeah. that's my new approach to drama. I mean, <laughs> I think that's a generally wise approach. That's largely the reason why I stopped doing any sort of uh, or, or or I I avoid streamer drama in Drama Mama yeah. specifically. In Drama Mama, we talk about things like the Will Smith slap. Um, if there's a a a streamer drama that rises to the level of like importance then we'll discuss it you know but uh, i generally avoid like small streamer or medium streamer or even large streamer drama simply because it's like well this is where like i don't want to like i don't know it's hard to like distance yourself from it and have a good conversation about it if there's like a chance that you could become involved or embroiled in it so yeah it, it definitely takes some weighing and there are times where like where we have where we've sort of broken that rule or bent that rule it's not a strict rule that we don't ever do stream streamer stuff we just tend to avoid it and generally that's a good idea i think i think it's paid off that we've generally focused on other things um some of my drama mamas about like um like the Ray Fisher situation that I stand with Ray Fisher, um, the Joss Whedon, like extended Joss Whedon coverage, the Will Smith one. I'm really proud of that drama mama. Um, and those are all ones that have nothing to do with streaming. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I, I, uh, I did have some things written down that, that I, I wanted to kind of discuss with you. Please hit me with them. Um, so, uh, this one's probably going to be the most contentious, but oh, I, <laughs> well, I, this is the thing. Okay. I don't, I, I don't think it should be contentious. I, I just want to say like uh, last year during the kink at pride discourse, Ooh. um, I, I got into a bit of drama with, uh, uh, uh another streamer that was bigger than me that, okay. uh, basically look, I saw Vosh's take on the kink at pride thing. And oh. I, here's the angle I come from it come at it from i mm -hmm. empathize with the asexual angle or just the like young people being excluded from an event because their parents might deem it to be too uh sexually explicit and so i injected myself into the conversation kind of being like well like i i'm not against kink at pride but like i do think that there should be spaces for people who uh are, are younger and people who aren't comfortable with that and mm -hmm. see I, I've learned now that, you know, I was kind of talking out of my ass. I wasn't as educated. And um, I, I've i learned more that a lot of these events actually do um, yeah. pay attention to stuff like that, which is really, yeah, really good. Do, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, and, most but most thing, pride I, events I, I, are, are pretty tame. Um, obviously, it, like one of the things that you that we encounter a lot in this conversation, of course, is uh, a lot of conservatives will use out of context pictures of adult only yeah. events or or even photos from events that have nothing to do with pride, um, like, you know, uh, leather fests or um, or like Mardi Gras festivals, which those are explicitly adult events in which there's like copious yeah. consumption of alcohol and all that sort of thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and like it is definitely a smoke screen when they bring that up, and it's something that shouldn't be taken seriously. Um, but my concern and, and kind of angle is that mm. I, I think it's important to remember that when the kink at pride issue does become a thing again, because it will, it will. like yep. we need to remember that there, yeah, like we, we need to remember that there will be people making bad faith arguments to mm -hmm. people with genuine genuine concerns. Uh, specifically to like ace people mm -hmm. and it's important to remember like kink, kink like yeah it's a it's a smoke screen but it's a, important to keep the conversation open to like the asexual perspective and to let yeah. ace people specifically know like you're welcome as part of our community you're you're one of us and, I, I and there agree is 100%. a space for you uh, I really, really dislike uh, the faction of of people online who are like, "Oh, ace people don't aren't queer or whatever." Like, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I think it's a an, a ridiculous proposition. I don't take those types of arguments seriously. I think it's incredibly important that ace that ace people are welcomed and considered a part because uh, I don't know if people realize this, but our society has the weirdest relationship with sex that you can possibly yeah. imagine. And yeah, actually. Um, the pressure to be sexual, even if you're not, the pressure to engage with sex in a specific way, even if that's not the way you engage with sex, is extreme. And you can see this, by the way, in the way that people treat virgins. Um, it's not like a direct corollary for um, asexual people, but the fact that like um, that just that like people who haven't had sex that aren't doing anything else, they're not incels, they're just virgins, but people will be mocked for that. And it's especially, it's not even, you don't even see that as much online. You'll see stuff online of people being like, well, that's a virgin opinion, which is like, okay, okay, that's a little minor. It's not that big of a deal. But I just can tell you. Just a microaggression. Yeah, it's like a microaggression. But I can tell you, again, like having grown up in a Christian environment, despite the fact that Christians are really weird about sex, they also expect like especially um especially like boys quote unquote or people who they identify yeah. as boys they expect you to be um sexual while also repressing your sexuality it's very fucked up it's incredibly messed up and it's it is it is it goes into the point of being um often very traumatic like i mean i was i was oh, always gosh. when i was a kid i was like compared uh unfavorably just because i wasn't like particularly interested in sex until which is surprising i know coming from me until a little bit later in my um in my teenage years but i was made fun of constantly because i wasn't as interested because i didn't really care about going to dances or going on dates um even though my family was simultaneously super christian it was it's very weird and it was very hurtful so yeah yeah, I think that's yeah, uh, like yeah. that that stuff that stuff like, it, it and it's especially difficult if you are on the ace spectrum, and it mm -hmm. it makes things more confusing. And then like, because then there's this pressure to have sex, and then if you do or whatever that like then you'll have people telling you like, oh, you've had sex before, or like you've you've had sex multiple times, you've had multiple, so you you can't be on the ace spectrum, yeah. and like for for me, I'm someone who's on the ace spectrum, but I'm I'm not like completely sex repulsed i'm, I'm yeah. i would describe myself as minorly sex repulsed but i'm also a, a, an extremely romantic person and yeah. that's another like common misconception of like ace people that it's like oh well then you must not be romantically attracted and it's like no i i enjoy being in relationships where i which is why i identify as demisexual i, I enjoy being in relationships where i can be intimate with the person but not mm -hmm. necessarily sexually but yeah. like yeah, i mean th i think th people that just doesn't don't mean talk i won't about it like I've met, I've I've had partners in the past who were who were signet who were super romantic and and very intimate people, but that weren't nearly into sex. But they didn't have the the words to describe that. They didn't even have the words yeah. to explore that. And that can make not like how do you communicate? You need and want in a relationship if you don't have the terms to understand it for yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. We are we are coming up to the end of our time. Would you, uh, real quick, please plug yourself? Um, and if there was any other last things you wanted to touch on, please uh, please go ahead right now. Um, also, uh, silent. Yes, I would absolutely love a large diet coke with some ice water <laughs> or with some ice in it. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I I know anything else I bring up would probably be too long. But uh, I, just again, yeah, I'm Lady Hopium on all socials. I have a YouTube channel where I do most of my stuff. Follow me there, follow me on Twitter. I'm also a rapper and musician. I got music on all the fucking streaming sites. I'm Lady Amazing. Hopium everywhere, all across Lady the Hopium. internet. Lady Hopium, you fucking heard it, everybody. Easy to find, Lady Hopium. Excellent name. Thank you 
so much for coming on. Thank you so much oh, for yeah. the, the topic you brought. And I'm sorry we didn't get more time. i um, just trying to make sure we get everybody in on a day like today. So no, thank absolutely. you so much. I'd... And we, we will talk again in the future, I'm quite sure of it. Oh, yeah. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Trans Thriving. Right. Trans Thriving. Hell yeah. Peace. Bye for now. Bye. Everybody, that was Lady Hopium. Uh, oh, my goodness. Much love to Lady Hopium. Uh, amazing conversation. Go check out Lady Hopium on all platforms.